Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game battle. Today's battling games are going to be Machi Koro by IDW Games and Pandasaurus versus Space Base by AEG. Both games are very, very similar, but they have their uh, differences. Machi Koro was the original game that started the whole rolling the dice and acquiring resources and then utilizing them to buy more cards. And Space Base took it to another level, changed it up a little bit. Today, we're going to find out which game I like more the differences between them and whether or not you should pick up this one that one both up to you to determine as we go into this board game battle for machi koro versus space base let's go ahead and do it starting with machi koro so the first of the two games we're going to take a look at is Machi Koro, and then we'll follow it up with Space Base. And Machi Koro is a pretty simple style game. You're going to be getting different types of cards to utilize. There's two starting cards, a wheat field and a Brit bakery, and then you have coins and two die. In the game, you're simply going to start with your two cards, you'll roll your die, and you'll gain currency. Certain cards will let you gain currency on your turn only, others will let you gain currency on anybody's turn, and some cards will let you gain currency from players, depending on whether they roll that number or not. These are the red ones here. And you're going to go around in circles. On your turn, you can go ahead and buy a card. You're also going to have these little yellow guys here, the amusement park, the train station, radio tower, and shopping mall. And on your turn, you can choose to buy one of these or buy one of these cards. When you buy these, you flip them over and you get the ability. Certain ones will do certain things. Like for instance, you'll go from one die to two die, which will allow you to do, decide to either roll just the one or you can roll both die to get other effects because the top here is going to represent the number you need to roll either uh, on your turn or if it's a card that is blue on another player's turn to gain those resources and the game's all about resources once you gather enough resources to buy all four of these cards you win the game and additionally there's these purple cards which are like superpowers you can get one of these guys and they give you some kind of power when the number is rolled on them a very straightforward game a game I've had in my collection for a very long time and I've also got the broken token insert which is nice because it gives you enough to sit all sit all the expansions in here at least all the ones I can think of getting along with a of course this nice little tray here which will fit all the currency and die and anything else we'd need for the game because there are a ton of expansions for machi koro we won't be discussing those in this video however we will just be discussing this specific base game against the space base base game both of them have expansions and so i figured it'd be fair to just talk about them as they are uh as you can see this is pretty much all you get in the game space uh, <laughs> machi koro let's go ahead and take a look at space base so here we have Space Base by AEG, and I went ahead and set it up just for one player to give you an idea of what's in the game. There's, of course, additional player boards for up to five players. Uh, there's the trackers there for currency and whatnot, and you got the track, you got the track here from 1 to 12, which indicates when you roll the die what you're going to get on your turn. Everything here is on your turn. Everything above your player board, upside down, is what you get on other players' turns when they roll that number. There's one, two, and three tiered items, or ships, in which you can go ahead and pick up if you have the currency and as you buy things your currency will go from 16 all the way to zero regardless of how much it costs but you have to have the cost in order to purchase something however the green thing will let you basically bank currency so for instance if this thing is at eight and i was at oh no i was at let's say like 19 uh, and then you're going to, oh no, what, where'd this go? Oh, I see everything's just kind of pushed over a little bit. Uh, then you're going to be able to, instead of going to zero, you'll go back down to the green area here, which is a unique, interesting mechanic, which differs from this game. Additionally, there's also these things you can buy on your turn that will allow you to uh, put them on top of your areas on the board uh, that will stop you from being able to gain anything on your turn for rolling those numbers. The game's going to end when somebody gets the 40 victory points, which is this little blue track here. And uh, a Additionally, what you gain is not just currency. Machi Koro is mainly currency, whether it's taking it or gaining it. This one here is going to have things that you're going to be placing, like tokens or cubes on certain things that let you do things like buying cards, uh, removing victory points from other players, gaining victory points, gaining green currency, which is your banking currency, uh, removing spaces to gain big chunks of victory points. Once somebody hits that 40, that's the last round of the game, and then everybody gets a chance as well to do whatever they want to buy. But for the most part, it plays very similar. You're going to be rolling two die in this game, however, instead of starting with just one and then you can choose between if you roll the one and a four you could choose to simply take a one and a four or you can take the five because the larger numbers are more than likely going to give you better rewards the game will also let you flip things from one side to the other depending on the cards you get as people roll their certain numbers which is a really interesting little aspect to the game uh, but for the most part that is how it's played this is what you get in it you get all the different little components here and this also has an expansion called uh, the emergence of shy pluto 
which is uh, an interesting legacy-esque type game that also you can put all the components in and just keep playing it. And then this is the little uh, box for it. I didn't have a broken ticket organizer because it fits everything. It'll also fit the full expansion in the base box as it is for space base. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and bring both games out and then we'll do a little battle. So here we have Space Base and Machi Koro, as you can see, fully set up to show you all the components and whatnot. And let's get into this board game battle. And the first thing I want to talk about is component quality. Uh, that includes the box and the inserts and all that as well. We'll start with the box inserts. Machi Koro, I apparently didn't like. I don't remember what it looked like inside, but I didn't like it apparently, so I went and got the uh, broken token organizer. This one is very, very nice, but it was not included in the game, so I would actually go ahead and just give it a space base because it has a fine plastic insert that actually fits everything and it also fits more for future expansions and whatnot. It's exactly what is needed for the game, not overproduced and not underproduced either. Uh, as you can see, the game, uh, both of them come with cards and these ones here are thinner, not thinner, but uh, smaller cards as these ones are a little bit larger, but they serve for the same purpose in the game. This one has a player board, which is very nice. It's a mat that uh, unfolds and additionally has cubes. This one over here has coins, but this one, as you can see, has a lot more more content involved in it. There's a lot more different types of cards. These ones facilitate you in different colors, such as green, blue, and red, and then of course the supers, which are the purple. Additionally, there are the construction cards, which are the yellow here, which tell you win the game. This one, you win the game by points. But all of these cards are basically unique in their own way. They have their own unique numbers, then uh, they also will function in a different way. So these cards will tell you when you get points. These ones over here will not. Um, but overall, the quality of these guys is great. They, they serve experience purpose. This one here, apparently the some of the cards are a little warped, I guess, a little bent. I have had this game for a little bit longer, however, so I'm not going to judge it too harshly on that. I imagine uh, the tokens or coins of this game could be a little better they they are obviously you can see that they're punched out in a weird weird way i guess how it kind of, kind of curves to one side they just have a one and a circle and then a crown on the other side the same artwork for all three of them but as far as coins go that's pretty much what you need i wouldn't mind something a little more extravagant but then the game the game is a very simplistic gateway game this one here has got a little bit more to it it's got the customized die with the little rocket ship on it and of course the different tokens and coins and whatnot but overall satisfactory quality for both games I think in, in, in terms of components this game comes with just a little bit more a little bit lot more I should say as far as the player boards the quality of that goes this is a big plus the insert is a lot nicer and all the additional little things you get even these die are sparkly and pretty compared to these basic green and uh, blue die there uh, so let's talk about theme now this one here you're building a city and this one here you're building a base this one's out in space and this one is out in I don't know, a town, I guess. They're both pretty similar. Uh, you're just building different buildings here, and these have a ton of different ships. These guys all have their own unique names, which is pretty cool, and that they're based on certain types of... Uh different ships around the world which is cool as well and this is just based on the different places you would ba basically build for a city they have a very very similar theme in nature i would say but uh overall if i had to choose where i wanted to build if i wanted to build a city or a space base i would probably choose a space base i probably would prefer to build something more in uh, outer space the sci-fi theme's a little cooler and just for the base game here it doesn't have all the interesting stuff that shy pluto might have which is the expansion of this game that has some interesting mechanics and changes the theme a little bit but uh it is very similar in nature as far as theme goes city or space that's kind of your options there artwork now artwork this one's better straight up i like the artwork better in this game uh the ships are a lot cooler the little bases are cooler uh pretty much all of it i enjoy better but it's just they're just basically spaceships this one here is a bunch of different towns and whatnot it's not bad for what it is it gives you the simulation of building a city so either one could probably go but i just personally like the little extra cartoony look the little extra sci-fi 1990s cartoon style artwork to this game so i would prefer space base over this one and let's go ahead and talk about mechanics now mechanics this one we roll two die and you'll choose the one die, or oh, sorry, a cumulative number from both die, or each separate number. And on your turn, you get these, and on the opponent's turn, you get the ones that are upside down uh, in that area. So in this case, you'd get two points, whatever, if somebody rolled an 11. It's your turn and their turn. Here, it's differentiated by color, and you can purchase whatever ones you want, and they stack. These ones only stack on your opponent's 
area, so basically in the opponent area of the board. They don't stack here, but you can of course get higher numbered value cards, higher tier cards, and the blue ones, which are when you roll it, are always going to be better than the red ones when your opponents roll it, because it's not as often you're going to get a chance to roll as everyone else will in the game. Uh, so this one is more complex. This is definitely more of a gateway style game. All you need to do is build those four those four areas first and you'll win. This one here, there is a ton of different strategy, a ton of choices as to where you want to build and how you want to build it. it. has a lot more going for it. You can also buy these on your turn. You're still buying only one thing on your turn, but this game will allow you to buy more depending on the cards that you have in your base and how you use your charges, which are included as you basically either roll the number that you need or somebody else does. Uh, and of course locking your spaces in this plays more players one more player in fact and uh, is a little longer so this is a little shorter as far as that goes but uh, preferentially I suppose if I only had time for a very short game Machi Koro would be the winner for me but in any case whenever I want to play a game like this space base is going to be mechanically more advanced than that game not to say that this wasn't uh thought the mechanics and style of this game wasn't brought to you from the style and mechanics of Machi Koro. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about something else now. Let's talk about the differences between the games. Uh, do the differences between this game and this game are large in number, but the base is fairly simple. Now, uh, in general, I kind of like the classic games more, and this is be a classic game, but this one gives me everything I want from Machi Koro and more. I feel like I'm able to do more when it's not my turn with this game, and I like the extra length of time where I feel like I can keep going. This one ends a little bit too abruptly for me. Now, I know that they both have expansions, and I'm not going to talk about those because I haven't played enough of these, and I haven't even played the full one of the the Pluto one for this one, but overall there is differences when it comes to how you roll in the dice when your opponent rolls the dice, how you want to stack your tableau compared to how you want to stack the stuff for your opponents to roll. This focuses more on not when you roll the die, but when your opponents are rolling and how they roll is going to be determined on how you want to accomplish your goals. Additionally, the extra die letting you get more resources quicker. The fact that you always lose resources, and this one you're always trying to gain resources and you'll spend them. This one you always go to zero unless you have that green thing moved up. Um, uh, there is just a lot more mechanically going on with space base uh, and, and that's not a bad thing it's not a really good thing either it just depends on your preference for play but overall if i had to choose a game between machi core and space base i would have to hands down say space base because it gives me all that i like from machi core and adds more interesting mechanics. It gives me more to do. It allows me more options. The fact that I can start putting charges on them. All that stuff is really, really grand. The player board is excellent. The fact that the game plays a little longer. And the more experienced you are with this game, the better it gets for you. In this game here, you kind of learn rather quickly how it's going to work, what the best strategy is. And and then it all comes down to luck more so. Now they're both very luck oriented games. If the numbers you want to roll never roll, you're not going to win. That's just how the game works. So be aware of that. You might not like either of these games because they are die rolling games and die rolling games have generally a lot of luck. But you can manipulate your luck in Space Base a lot more than in Machi Koro. In Machi Koro, it generally will take you a little bit longer to manipulate your, your dice based on being able to gain new things throughout the game. Speaking just on the base games, that is. Anyway, so that is my opinion of this. What do you think? Personally, I enjoy Space Base. I've played this many, many times. And to uh, acknowledge a potential bias, I suppose, I know the designer of Space Base. Uh, and uh, we've played this live a few times, but overall, I can easily say that I enjoy this game on my own. Preferentially, I could sit down and say, let's play Space Base. Machi Core, unfortunately, I probably won't play that much, but if I wanted somebody younger to play a game that, want, you know, like this kind of a feel, or I wanted to play maybe this kind of a game, but I, I knew that my audience probably wasn't gonna be able to do it, or I might stomp them too badly, this one gives more of a chance to the younger audience, especially the gateway gamers. So bringing this game out for grandma, grandpa, your mom and dad, perhaps, uh, it's gonna be easier for them to understand Machi Koro, and it's way, way quicker to get going on. Less rules. So what do you guys think? Do you think Space Base is the killer, or do you think that a Machi Koro still reigns supreme as the classic? I know, like I said, generally speaking, classics are usually gonna be my go-to, but, there are games that dethrone other games. Um, 
I'll be talking about another one of those soon, shortly, depending on which video comes up. But it'll be very interesting. And I want to know. Let me know what you think. What things did I get wrong in this? Uh, what things do you think you agree with me on? Uh, thank you so much for watching another board game battle uh, with Machi Car and Space Base. Let me know which board game battle you'd like to see next, or maybe a game you'd like to see me compare another game uh, compare to another game with that you may not have played. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I look forward to board game battling with you next time.